PlayStation 5 uh, with the Blu-ray drive issue. I'm going to ins attempt to insert a disc. Nothing. There's no movement, nothing going on the Blu-ray drive. There's no power going to the Blu-ray drive. It's, it doesn't accept, eject, nothing. This is the problem. What we'll do, we'll open up the console. Um, there's no power going through the Blu-ray drive, so we'll examine the board and we see what's happening with the Blu-ray drive circuitry. You can watch our other videos, how to remove the side panels. Um, I've already got that removed on this one. Let's carry on with the remaining uh, disassembly process. Grab your plastic pry opening tool, open up the side drill. Take out this adhesive pad, disconnect the fan power connector. Let's remove the fan, there are four screws. This, this one's a long one, two medium and one small. Lift it up. Let's remove the SSD bay cover. Take out this screw. We'll be removing one, two long screws here and one silver blue or red screw. Take out these two screws. We have six more screws. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one's under the warranty sticker. Peel that off. Let's remove our top cover, so press and hold here. You don't want to lift up the Blu-ray drive, uh, the Blu-ray drive ribbon and the power cable is still connected, so we'll be lifting it up from here. Let's disconnect the Blu-ray drive data and the power cable. Press and hold here, slide it out. Disconnect these two cables. Take out all these four antenna cables. We'll be removing the silver plate, uh, except for these one, two, three, four screw hole areas. Just remember that there shouldn't be any screws here. Let's remove the remaining screws. Lift up this metal clip. We are now able to lift up our silver plate. Uh, there's some adhesive pads still connected, so we'll feel a bit of resistance. Okay, this comes off easily. Let's remove this main board uh, power cable. Press and hold on this connector and take it out. Let's remove the uh, heat sink clamp screws. There's three more screws and we'll be able to lift up our motherboard. One, two, three. Let's remove these. The power supply pins are connected here. Lift it up from here. Okay. There's no power going through the Blu-ray drive. High chances are uh, some of the fuses may have problems. That's your power connector. There's a couple of fuses here. Let's just check it and see what's going on there. Continuity mode and let's check, check the, the fuses. So this fuse is good. Let's just check this one. No beep. High chances are this is a bad fuse and this is why there's no power going through here. Um, let's just replace this fuse and we'll check it again. 
So this is the fuse that's causing the problem. There's no power going through the Blu-ray drive. I'm going to check it one more time. So this is a 100% working fuse. Let's just check the values of this. No beep. So that's a bad fuse. So let's replace this one with a working one. I'll be desoldering this fuse and then we have a donor board. So I'll be taking out this fuse from the donor board and replacing it with this one. Let's just give it a quick check to see if our soldering is 100% okay. So I'm just going to see if the current flows from one side to the other. So I'm just going to probe it here and probe it here. Yep. So the current flows from there. This is 100% good. Soldering is good. Fuse is successfully soldered. Let's put a PS5 board back in the console. Press it down here, place the heatsink clamps, I'll just quickly connect these two ribbon cables, connect this one as well. Place your heat sink. I'm just going to place a few screws and then place the Blu ray drive and give it a quick test. Place this metal clip. Let's place our blu ray drive and give it a quick test. Let's give it a quick test and see if it works. I'm just going to insert our disk. Yep, it accepts it. At least that part of the problem is solved. Uh, looks like I can see that the Blu-ray drive is damaged from here, so there's something else going on with the Blu-ray drive. It doesn't read it. We have fixed the, uh, the Blu-ray drive uh, accepting and ejecting problem. It's accepting the discs now. So fuse has been replaced. Um, it's still not reading it. Let's just open up the Blu-ray drive and let's see what's going on in there. Disconnect this ribbon cable. Disconnect the power cable. We'll be working with the Blu-ray drive now. I can already see that the 
it's been dropped and it's it's bent here so high chances are the disc is going in it's not sitting properly uh, we might have to do a patch up fix here let's see let's just disconnect these two ribbon cables press and hold here take this one out take the power cable out In order to take out our this uh, top cover, we'll be removing four silver screws, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six uh, black Phillips screws that we need to take out. You can lift up the cover from here, so lift it up, but there's a little bit of opening here, you need to press it down and take out this um, sticky tape from here and you'll be able to lift up the top cover. I believe this is the problem. Now if we put this Blu-ray drive back in the console and give it a test and see if it uh, accepts it. The reason, so this is this is the bend here. So that's what's causing the problem. Um, we need a new top cover, or we need to fix this. Let's put this back in our console and give it a quick test and see if it works. Let's put these two cables back. Cut the power cable. Connect this one. Let's put this blue drive back in our console. Just do a quick test and see if that fixes the problem. <laughs> Put the Blu-ray drive back here. I'm just going to put back this screw here so that it's sitting in place okay. Let's give it a quick test and see what's going on. I'm going to insert a disc. In order to insert the disc, you just need to be moving this gear here and then sliding this in. Yep, and it reads the disc and it's reading our disc. The top cover is the problem here as it's reading our disc. I'm just going to eject it. Let's, I'm just going to just try to move, unbend it, um, see what I can do here. So this is what's causing the problem here. Let's, let's move this there so that it's, there's a bit of a space there so that it's accepting the disc. So that's the only bent there. So most likely it's fixed now. Okay, should be okay. Let's put this back and see if it accepts discs. Otherwise we might have to play around with this a little bit. I'm going to insert the disc. It's fixed and it's reading the discs now. That's what we did. I've just straightened up this Blu ray drive cover from here. I've just straightened up this from here and now this assembly can move freely. Um, that's all we did. <laughs> Um, let's just put it all back together. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take out this and just close it now. We'll put four silver screws here and we have these um, black Phillips screws, six screws, just to place all these screws and pretty much that's all.
well let's just take out uh, this was just a quick test we'll be taking out this and um, placing our motherboard screws and then placing our um, silver plate screws let's take it out place the three motherboard screws there's two silver screws here and one black screw here Put this back on. Put this clip back on. Apart from these, one, two, three, three, four. Let's place the remaining Torx T8 security screws. Let's connect these antenna cables. They're labeled here. Connect these two. Grab your blue air drive, place it in here, connect the blue air drive, ring cable here. Connect the power connector. Let's place our top cover back on. Place two long screws here and one silver blue air drive screw. Place the two screws, one, two here. We have six more screws, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's put our fan. Connect the fan power cable. Put back this adhesive cover. Put back the fan screws. The long screw go here. It's to medium. I know what's going on. Put back the SSD bay cover. Put back the side grill. This one didn't have any side panels. This is how we received it, so all done.